Joseph, just to backtrack a little bit, after World War II, Joseph Pieper wrote that book. And, you know, what is people hear leisure and they think of like entertainment or amusement or just being lazy. What they don't realize is that leisure is a habit of the soul. It's a disposition and an openness, a habitual disposition is an openness to reality. It's the, it's the peace in you that makes you capable of praying. And if you're capable of praying, then you're capable of being infused in the divine life of God. And if that's happening to you, then all of a sudden your being changes, you're stepping into the flow of grace and you become a creative being and a creative civilization. So that's why we can say with confidence and historical fact that the monastic movement is responsible for Western civilization, all the creativity. So every time I go to Europe and I'm having a beautiful coffee and a beautiful cathedral nearby and I'm having my pizza in Roma or whatever, I'm thinking that beer and my wine, I'm thinking that this is all because uh, uh, men and women went into the desert, went and created their monastic communities and connected with God. And from that came the absolute in, insane creativity that we know as Western civilization and the Western canon. So that, that aside, that kind of, that kind of capacity for spiritual and ethical values, the values that come from understanding that man's end is to be, a, a, you know, to be fully alive in the life of God, that, that reminder, that cultural reminder comes from the presence of women that is a really powerful big deal because leisure is the basis of culture. What you worship will determine your culture. And if you, if you don't worship God, it will be something else that determines your culture. And we can see that very radically.